Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Habib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear? <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me down, but it's Just okay. It sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> and now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the Iceman, Chuck And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Mimago Meda. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. 
liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Good punch lands. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Dell gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nermago Meta. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. The Iceman gets caught with that punch. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and cruise you with that single strike. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Just over two minutes to go. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, as usual, this outstanding striker has come out aggressively tonight, almost as if he's double parked outside. Dude's trying to get the job done and get it done quickly. But he doesn't waste any action. Everything is so tight and crisp. That's why he lands when he lands and he can be so aggressive. Liddell's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Ice man gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Effective jab there by Nermago Meta. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Meta. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? I mean, that right hand lands square. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Nermago Medov strike attempt there is blocked. Those are big strikes. Oh! We got a fight, folks. Round two winding down. What a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Round two on the way. 
Nice punch by Chuck Liddell. Oh, a combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Tags him with the uppercut. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Big off punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big inside kick. Slips to avoid the right. Wow. That strike blocked by the Iceman. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. And just misses with that big right hand. Punch over the top. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Pretty significant well to the left side. Try to establish that jab. Another shot lands upstairs. This is your show. Just over three minutes to go. Strong hook to the head there by Nermago Meta. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that he's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good stick. Just missed with the left there. That shot blocked by the Hall of Famer, the Iceman Chuck Liddell. What a body kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. His misses are entertaining. Nermago Medov gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Huge block there. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land right on the spot. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nice oh! fight. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. Again, going back to the jab just out of range.
flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there.